Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Sometimes you may need to combine a couple of images together and you run into some difficulties, like this transparency in this bottle. Now, the pictures I have back here, I have a city picture and then a bottle picture. Obviously, if I put this on top of this, I would still have this same bottle effect. So let's see how we can combine these pictures and then bring back the transparency into the bottle. Okay, first thing I want to do is I'm just going to get these two pictures together. So I'll just go over here to our city picture, grab the background layer, and just drag it over here into the picture with the bottle. Now they're a little bit off-sized, and that's okay for this demo. I'm just going to grab the control handle here and drag this out until it's just large enough to fit like that and I'll kind of you know recenter the picture about like that should do I'll now make a copy of our background just drag it up here and I'll put that up above so we'll hide the background the habit I tend to be in just to make a copy and hide the background let's just call this one city and we'll leave that as is we're not going to be doing anything to that layer all the work is going to be done here on the bottle layer. We'll actually bring the transparency back into the bottle. Let's just bring it up a little bit here so you can see what we're doing. There we go. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to make a layer mask so I can separate the bottle from this outside stuff out here. I'll just name this one. Here we go, bottle. I'll use the magic wand for this and set it for new. Easy to do as you can see because it's a nice clean background, it's easy to grab that. There's a little bit right down here that it didn't grab a little bit of a shadow. That's not going to matter because we're going to be bringing the bottle down a little bit. I want to have the base of the bottle just off screen. So I'm not going to worry about that. So we've made our selection and then click on the layer mask button and it gives me a layer mask. Now notice it's the wrong way around. So, if that happens to you, just undo and then simply invert the layer mask. So, I'll go up to the select menu and inverse, and it puts the selection right around the bottle. Let's now do that again, hit the layer mask button, and there we go. That gives us our bottle without that excess outside stuff. Now, notice that we can't see through the bottle. Obviously, it's a, it was a white background behind that. But at this point, the first thing I'm going to do is just to Go to the bottle and pull it down a little bit. I just want to have it just, just off the bottom like that. So it's not quite on top. That looks pretty good. So there's our basic bottle. I think that's fine. Now if you want to, you can soften up that edge. It's a little bit hard in here. Make it look a little bit more natural by going on to the layer mask. And I'll give it a very, very soft blur. So filter blur, Gaussian blur, and let's just, let's try one pixel, see how that looks. And let's see if we can find where that bottle is hiding. Okay, there's the edge right there. I'll go to the top so it's easy to see what I'm doing. Okay, there's the top of the bottle. I'm going to back out a little bit. We'll fix that up in a second as well. So it's kind of softening up that edge maybe two pixels a little bit better. I think I'll go with two pixels on this one. Let's now fix that spot we just spotted up here. It's not really that important, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now these are areas that weren't grabbed when we did the selection outside with the magic wand. As you can see here, black is hiding the outside, white is showing the bottle, so I want to paint white over here to make sure those are showing properly. So I'll just reverse my colors, grab the paintbrush, 
and let's adjust the paintbrush size. It's pretty good. And right there, just a little bit of paintbrush on that. That simply, as you can see, I was painting white onto the mask side. Notice the light blue outline. And it simply allowed that area to show through. So it allowed me to see that through the mask. Okay, so our edge looks good. Looks realistic. And now I can zoom back out again with the Alt key down and the zoom. So we're getting there. I'll just float that window again. Now if you don't know how to float or dock windows, this is a floating window. Make sure you go up to Edit Menu, Preferences, and General, and make sure these two boxes are checked. Allow floating documents in expert mode, that's what we're in right now, and Enable Floating Document Window Docking. Make sure those are checked. If those are checked, you can then drag this up to that section. It just kind of, kind of fades out there. Let go at that point, and it docks it. Take the dab, the name there, pull it down, and it floats it. That's all that is. It makes it very easy to work with your images that way. Okay, so here's our basic bottle, but we can't see through it yet. So I want to do something to allow me to see the background through the bottle. And we can do that. Click over on the bottle itself, and we're going to change the blending mode. This is how the bottle blends in with layers underneath. If you choose screen, that gives you transparency back, just like that. Now notice that we have our transparency, but the bottle looks kind of fake. I want to bring back those values in the bottle. So I'll grab this bottle layer, drag it up here to a new layer. It gives me a copy. I don't want to screen both of these. What I want to do is I want to multiply the colors together, giving me that dark bottle again. So for multiplying, top layer, click on screen, and multiply, and that brings those layers back in again. So you can easily, as you can see here, adjust those values allowing you to see through the bottle. And if I want to mi minimize the effect in here, just click on the opacity, and you can back that off until you have just the amount of transparency that you want. I think something around in here looks just about like the bottle originally looked, and there's our transparency. So we have two layers. The bottom one is bottle screen, and the second one is bottle multiply. There we go. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to come in and bring in some of these colors from outside into the edges of the bottle to make the bottle look more like it's actually sitting in this environment. So we'll zoom in a bit. There we go. And I'll make a new layer up here. Now I want to bring this bottle mat up to this new layer. So hold the Alt key down, grab that mat and pull it up, and it brings it up just like that. So now if I paint over here, it's going to be limited to inside of the bottle because of this mask, our layer mask. Let's now grab the eyedropper tool and I'll grab some colors. Here's a bright blue right there that's probably going to be showing up in the bottle. Make sure you're on the image side over here. So there's our bright blue. Grab the paintbrush and soft, be about 65 so it's pretty pretty small brush as you can see you know there's the there's a brush right there pretty small brush i'm just going to paint just a little bit of this right in here like that maybe a touch right there and a touch right there that's just blue from that area we'll do a little bit of this kind of stuff let's grab some more it's a little bit of a, a reddish kind of color over here put a little bit of that right in there and we have some this kind of bluish right down there. Same thing, I'll do a little bit of that right along that edge, kind of mimicking that building in there. There we go. And I'll grab this kind of orange right there, a little bit of that on the bottle edge right down the orange. And let's grab this orange, you know, orange yellow, do a little bit of that right down in there. I'm just grabbing colors, as you can see, from what's around the image. 
I have too much in here, so I'm going to grab some of the dark purple, and let's just bring that back out a little bit. There we go. And there's also some darker blue in here. I'm going to grab some of that as well to get that kind of outer edge. A little bit of that around the outside there. Looks pretty good. A little bit of white over in here. Let's grab some of that. I'll grab this pure white. And a little bit right in there and there. Maybe a touch over here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. There's a bit of a purplish color right down there. I think we kind of have that in here already, but just in case. Let me see if I can grab, if I can get that. And that's about the best I can do. I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. There we go. So I grabbed the color with the eyedropper tool and then clicked on the color section here and just went lighter on that exact same color. Okay, paintbrushed a little bit of that right in there. Kind of mimics that coloration. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Now, it looks kind of cheesy right now. You can see that it's just kind of excessive. We don't want it to be excessive on this. I want it to be a little more evenly blended in. So again, we're going to change the blending mode up here. Go to blending mode and come down to overlay. And that just allows that to blend in with the other stuff that's in behind. So you have some of the original shadowing in here. And then we have some of those colors catching the edges of that bottle. Now if that's too much, simply bring back the opacity a little bit. They have just enough so it looks as if you're picking up the lights in behind. Okay, let's zoom out. And there we go there's a bottle and we've added back in our transparency and we brought in a little bit of reflected light into the edge of that bottle as well so that's how you make a transparent bottle out of an opaque bottle simply using blending modes to achieve that effect thank you for watching this special photoshop photography project video don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this 